I'm doing it again, looking up at the sky and wondering, wondering what random thing will fall into this nowhere place next. Soft, round, pointy, small, huge, there doesn't seem to be a limit to what can fall here. And there's never any warning, it just happens. It doesn't even surprise me anymore, actually. I can't even remember the first thing I saw fall from the sky. It was such a long time ago. The messed up part is that it's such a regular occurrence now that it seems natural. Normal, even. I've become convinced that everything in this world fell here from somewhere else. And these falling events have become a part of my daily life. I actually rely on them now. I find food, raw materials, necessities, pretty much anything you can imagine. And the part that amazes me is that I can find a use for the stuff I can't even positively identify. But sometimes I get a weird item that stumps me. I keep those too, just in case. I tell myself I'll figure out what they are or find a use for them one day. This cocoon world known as Fallujah has been like this since I came to be here. Well, not just me, actually. This little guy's been at my side this whole time, too. My prime partner in scavenging and adventure, Patch. We have each other and we have this whole world to ourselves. At least, that's what I thought. Some sweet and juicy fruit would be nice. Only problem is, the sweet and sour ones look the same. I can't tell the difference without a bite. But if all that drops in is warm bread or other baked goods, I'm fine with that too. Why am I going on about food? I must be hungry. Patch, you're staring again. You know I don't like that, but you still do it. What? It's not a crime to talk about food. Shows I'm healthy, in fact. Never mind me. 
What about you, Patch? What do you want to see falling down today? Yeah. Exactly. You wanted to see it my way, but didn't know it. We've been together so long, we're almost like two halves of the same whole. And the fact that I can make sense of those sounds you make is pretty amazing, too. But maybe we were meant to be together. Just the two of us in this strange place. What? What is it? Stop playing around. Hey! <laughs> knock it off! That tickles! You don't have to tickle torture me because you're happy. Hmm? Oh, over there? Something fell? Yuck! Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Just wait up. What's the rush, buddy? Yuck! Okay, okay. I'm right behind you. look like they're from Machine World Lorelal. Hmm. Mm hmm I don't know why, but I feel like they fell here like we did. I know, that's weird, right? I mean, it's not normal no matter how you look at it. It's just not right. Wait. Oh, no. Amr! We lost her! She was with us before this happened! I remember it clearly! Oh, if we've managed to lose Big Sister, I don't know what I'll do. Well, maybe she was caught in whatever brought us here, and she's somewhere nearby. First order of business is to find her. Then we can worry about figuring out where we've ended up. Enough talking. Let's get searching. Yes! Yes! Think this is where something fell, Patch? Uh oh, someone's coming. Hi. Patch, are you sure this is the right place? I don't see anything at all. Okay, okay, I know. Don't be angry. Who is that? He doesn't dress like anyone from Saint Kingdom. Is that strange creature around him a summon? Asaha, check the orb and see if you can tell if he's good or bad. Oh, right. Give me a moment. Right. Great. Why is 
that surprising? Can you see anything at all? It's blurry, and I can't see very well. But I see a beautiful heart, so I don't think he's a bad guy. And the little one beside him? That little flying summon? Yes, I think I could become friends with it. That's the first bit of good news since we got here. Maybe he can even tell us where we are. Come to think of it, he might have seen Amr, too. I'm going to take a chance and talk to them. Okay, I trust you. Patch, I have no idea what you're babbling about. There's nothing new here. You made a mistake. Simple as that. Let's just go search somewhere else, okay? What is wrong with you, buddy? You've lost your mind over this one. Hey, you! Are you from around here? It's a silhouette, Zerl. Patch, get back and I'll take it out. Wait, I don't know what you think we are, but we're not here to hurt you. Put the spear down. No bad guy admits they're bad. Wait a minute. Whoa! It's a talking Zerl! I've never seen one of those before. I'm sorry. What? Big Brother! He's frightening me! It will be okay. I'm not letting anyone hurt you, Hisaha. Besides, he looks kind of flustered. They're not Zerls? What's that supposed to mean, Patch? Wait, uh, are these the ones that fell from the sky? Yeah. Unbelievable! That can't be! Um, uh, hello? Anyone home? Wow, what a totally awesome development. We lucked out today, Patch. Uh, first things first, I suppose. Where exactly are we? I have no idea how I got here. Oh, yeah, probably confusing, right? I've always called this Cocoon World Fallujah. There are forests and plains here, but if they have names, I never learned them. Fallujah? Does that ring a bell, Hasaha? No. Yeah, I thought so. Well, can you tell us what part of Lindbaum this is in? Lindbaum? That sounds like a delicious treat, and so your question makes no sense. You've never heard of Lindbaum? I can't say that I have, but the name is pleasant enough. Actually makes me feel a little... wistful. Well, hmm. Hasaha, you'll probably get upset, but I need you to stay calm after I say this. It seems like we've been blown into another world. A world that's definitely not Lindbaum. I know, but I'm not scared. Not even a little bit? I'm impressed. Two reasons. First, I have Big Brother with me, so I know you'll protect me. And, when the light surrounded me and I felt myself floating, it was a very familiar feeling. That reminded me of what happened when I was called from Siltern originally. Ah, right. You're saying it felt like you were being summoned? Yes, yes, it was just like that. Well, that's a clue then. Maybe we've been summoned to an unknown other world. But it's still a mystery who would want to do that, let alone why. What are you talking about? You lost me a while back. We were just wondering if perhaps you were the one who summoned us. Some... what? What's that? 
okay? That would be a no. I just realized we kind of skipped over the introductions. Er, what's your name? Name? Oh, right, my name. I've always called myself Raj. You call yourself Raj? Well, there was no one to give me a name that I can remember, so I came up with that. What do you call yourself? My given name is Magna, and this here is Hasaha. Magna and Hasaha, huh? Nice to meet you both. Don't mind the stupid grin on my face, I'm just really happy all of a sudden. It's just so new and, well, weird to have new people to talk to. Puts a smile on my face. Serious? No one else has ever come here? Not to my knowledge. It's been just me and my buddy here all this time. Yuck, yuck. And what is that called? Oh, yeah, that's Patch. It's not a guardian beast? Patch is the name, not guardian beast. No, I wasn't talking about his name. It's pretty clear by now that Raj doesn't know anything about summon arts. He's just been stuck in this cocoon for who knows how long. Well, it doesn't mean I want to stay ignorant. Tell me about summoning and guardian beasts. Well, summoning is a kind of magic spell that allows you to call others to your world. Whoa. So with summoning, you can call guardian beasts and others from different worlds to yours? That's flat out amazing, Magna. I can't imagine having that power. In fact, I used it to call Hisaha from Yokai World Silturn using that summon art. And we've been together ever since. Hisaha is a guardian beast, which is a specific kind of summon beast in our world. In this world, I would say partner or buddy. Same diff, right? Yeah, yeah, I think you have the right idea there. What is it, Hisaha? Remember? happened to Big Sister Armor. Oh, right. How could I forget something so important? Why are you looking so worried all of a sudden? We got separated from this girl we were with before being called here. Her name is Armor. We think she may have been called here with us and might just be lost. Oh, that is not good. We gotta find her quickly. Otherwise... So, you'll help us try to find her? Look around! Do you see anything else we have to do? Of course we'll help you find your friend. That's quite kind of you. Well, it's not totally for you. I want to help you find your friend, but... I also want to hear more stories about the world you come from. I bet Patch does too. Yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds like a fair trade. We really appreciate the help too. I'm happy to be able to offer it. One question. Is it normal here for people and things to drop down from the sky? Well, like I said, you're the first people to drop in. Usually it's just random stuff. But, Patch and I get by using the things that show up here from the sky. Does everyone here do that? No idea. Besides Patch, I've literally never met anyone else here until now. I'm pretty sure I told you that already, though. Did you bump your head when you came here? Oh, right. You did mention something like that. Sorry, I'm still in a bit of a mental fog. But I am getting the idea that getting back to where we came from isn't going to be easy. What's wrong, Hasaha? Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, about that. You're the first living beings I could talk to besides Patch. But there are plenty of scary creatures around here that I can't communicate with. What the? That looks like a stray summon. I don't know what they are exactly. Except that they appear around things that have fallen here. Which is why it's important that we find your friend. She's probably in danger already. 
just our luck. Danger. She doesn't handle danger well solo. Even more reason to find her fast. How are you with the weapon, Magnum? I do all right. Music to my ears. Let's take care of these weirdos and then find your friend. Raj, I like the way you think already. Let's do this. Here we go! Take that! Too bad, so sad. Alright! Let's see...
Taxi. Good going, everyone. 